Hello, what's up? Um, my name is Vincent Ryan Boris, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, this is my first lesson for keyboards, and we'll start with a very basic with our hands. So, right hand, left hand, and then there's numbers for our fingers one, two, three, four, five. For your right hand, your left hand, one, two, three, four, five. So it's the same. I got an illustration here. And um, the next one is about the notes. So you got whole note, half note quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth note. We'll focus on the first three for now. So whole note, we'll do it. We'll do whole note by clapping our hands. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can follow me. So we'll clap our hands on one, but we will be counting until four. So one, two, three, four, and one, two three four and one two three four and one two three four that's your whole note your half note is you'll be clapping on one and three so one two three four one two three four one two three four and your quarter note you will be clapping on all four uh, counts. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, and the last one that we need to know is the staves. So there's five lines, and then. It corresponds to the notes so you got C D E F G or it's Do Re Mi Fa Sol La Ti Do and then it goes up again as Re Mi Fa Sol okay we will discuss more on this one uh, in the future so some people uh, read the notes as Do Re Mi Others read it as letters, which is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, or numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, um, we will discuss more of that. And this one is what you call G clef. And this one is the time signature, which is 4 fourths. That's why we were counting earlier um, 4 counts. So four counts, four bars. All right. Another important thing that I wanted to share to you is if you're a um, parent and you want your child to learn keyboards, you can purchase this online. And there's another one. Both of these are available online. You can buy this, but my personal experience because I I bought this first I find that this one is a lot better um, because there's loads of factors uh, one is the time signature this one the four fourths this book started with the four fourths which most of us are very familiar because of the influence of pop music so it's always one two three four one two three four and this one starts with the three fourths or three quarters so it's more of a classical approach which is one two three one two three like waltz and if you're an adult or your child is learning music 
it's uh, influenced by the radio, by pop music, and they're more likely to count four fourths that rather than the three fourths. And that's just my observation. And also in this book, it's really for kids. So the, um, the approach is gradual. This one is, although it's for kids, but um, it starts with a song immediately. Okay. Okay, let's crack on. Let's start from what this book is going to tell us to do. Yeah, keyboards, the parts of the keyboards, which is very important. Okay, we'll do parts of the keyboard. So the first thing that you need to locate is your power adapter where you're gonna be plugging in your keyboards and then your switch to turn it on and off okay in my case this is my power switch so on is just to slide it up right and as I've said some it's a button so you just to, you just need to press it this is my volume main volume this is my start and stop for my accompaniment for the drums and this is the sync or synchro where when you start playing a chord the drums will play with with it okay and stop um, sometimes they put the fill in a separate one separate button but fill in is when you do like drum roll for example and then when you press fill in there. other keyboards got loads of fill in fill in one fill in two fill in three it varies but yeah that's your fill in then this is my tempo where you can adjust um, the tempo or the speed of the drums then accompaniment volume transpose or tune transpose is when uh, your song you your own key of C but your singer wanted the song to be in the key of D so you just transpose it up we will learn more about transpose uh, in the near future but for now the basic is power volume and then your drums or accompaniment okay um, then and then you will need to locate the tone and the rhythm so these are the tones where you can have your piano uh, electric piano organ etc so you can select the sound of your keyboards and then let's put it organ uh, guitar for example okay and so on and so forth so you just follow the number of the tone so zero zero for my piano ten for the organ and so on or you can use the plus and minus okay when you press rhythm that's for your drums so you got from zero zero to ninety nine you can put zero zero or 99 or any combination that correspond to the uh, rhythm or the drums that you need okay and then you can use the plus and minus button we will be talking in depth about that one but basically that's how your keyboard uh, functions the other thing that I forgot to mention is you've got this one is on normal meaning you can play the entire keys as normal if it's piano it will be all piano but if you put this on a casio chord that is 
equivalent to your single finger chord so just one finger and it correspond into a chord okay then if you put this on fingered chord that's when you do a full chords okay we will talk more about chords about single finger chord or the fingered chord okay as long as you know now that there's we, when you're using casio you got a casio chord which is equivalent to single finger chord okay guys so i hope uh, you learned something you picked up something from what i uh, mentioned earlier um please if you can purchase a book like this and if not it's fine just uh, follow me uh, on this um, tutorial and we'll go through this book then probably mix and match with other books and we'll find a way on learning the keyboards Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye for now.